Welcome back folks. For this video, I want to discuss artillery. So artillery is one of the most controversial vehicle class in the game. And for a good reason, because it plays differently than the four other classes. It plays like a camper sniping across the map with a bazooka firing high explosive. So if you already play FPS, if you already know the camping-ish feeling with a bazooka, then yeah, it's super aggravating. It gets super annoying pretty fast. But there are a few myths surrounding artillery players, and I would like to debunk those myths because I play artillery myself. I'm pretty proficient at it as well because I, the most played vehicle on my account is the GW Panther. The third most played vehicle is the GW Tiger P. So I started playing World of Tanks with artillery, so I know what I'm doing. And there are a few myths surrounding this class that's gaining mob mentality, so gaining a negative rep without any backing from actual, you know, unicums or actual tactics or analysis. So today we'll talk about everything surrounding artillery. So I'm not saying that artillery is super good or glorifying artillery, so it does need to be fixed. So there are a few problems with it, but it's not as dramatically, you know, broken as some players say as it is. Since patch 9.1, uh, 8.6, that was the main nerf to artillery players. But there's still been artilleries, and a lot of players still complain since then to remove artillery entirely from the game. So we'll get this question out of the way first. Why not remove artillery altogether? So just remove the whole class. Well, the main reason for this is what if you face a very good player that's hauled down without any advantage or any disadvantage if you will any advantage for you to have the upper hand so what if you're facing a t110 e5 on a hill and he's shooting down at you or a whole platoon of t110 e5 surrounding the base capping so how are you going to deal with those heavily armored vehicles without having artillery your teammates they have no good shots. They cannot shoot the hull, so you cannot penetrate the turret. And they're having their turret wiggle tactics, so you cannot actually shoot. So that's a main big problem. And artillery is the solution to campers. But what really happened is, a lot of people are afraid of artillery, so they camp. So it's the other way around. And it just promotes a campish mentality when supposedly they should prevent you from camping, so it counterbalance or counterintuitive itself. But you still need artillery. In honesty, you still need artillery against those heavily armored vehicles. Otherwise, you'll see mouses, type fives all the way around the block, like the sandbox server. So, yeah, artilleries are worthless on the sandbox right now and basically you have a bunch of heavy tanks and they're just squashing and sweeping up the entire map because the medium tanks are slow to flank they have no dpm ish and the accuracy is not as good so you have to rely on other heavy tanks to do all the work but yeah you should use artillery against heavy armored vehicles right that's the mentality but a lot of players do not see that so you do need to have artillery but a lot of players are forgetting the fact that artilleries are normal players. So there are some tomatoes, there are some unicums who place artillery, well mostly non-unicums, but I'm the rare few. So there are difference in artillery skills. And yeah, it does require skills to play this vehicle class correctly. So you should not shoot at light tanks or medium tanks that's super fast, obviously. But some players don't know that. And yeah, that's the main difference between a good artillery player and a great artillery player. So knowing when to shoot, knowing where to shoot, and which target to pick out is also a very big skill set for artillery. So yeah, you still need artillery players. They are the ones who are dealing with those heavily armored vehicles. But if you're having a tomato artillery player shooting at light tanks when you need a mouse to be killed, yeah, yeah. That's your teammate's problem, not artillery's problem. 
Get it? All right, so we do need artillery, all right? Just trust me on it. If you cannot fight a heavy tank, you need artillery, and you need the rolls of light tanks to spot. So artilleries are quite important. So, yeah, why do I play artillery? Well, it's a stress-relieving class for me because there's no responsibility. You, you're not responsible for your team to win most of the time since artillery players are pretty much based on RNG. It takes a long time to aim and the shells are not that accurate. So it's mostly relying on your teammates to spot for you to shoot and you're not directly involved with the road blocking as heavy tanks are or to a lesser degree medium tanks. So yeah, you're not supposed to engage up front. You're just providing fire support. So this whole class is relatively simple. It's easy to pick up. So I highly recommend you start playing World of Tanks with artillery because I'm not saying that the scumbags are easy way to win. No, it's easy to pick this game up when you start playing artillery because there's no responsibility. So you're not like pressured by other players to do well. So you're not required to carry the team and you can learn the map more efficiently from artillery's viewpoints. So you can understand the maps, where people are going, why do they camp there? For example, why does heavy tanks go towards towns where tank destroyers stays in open fields? So you, you can understand the game a lot better when you're playing artillery. So it's a good class to start, but once you get started playing World of Tanks, you can move on to tank destroyers from artillery which is basically artillery that has direct fire support rather than indirect fire support. Then you can move on to heavy tanks when you're a little bit more confident about the armor and then medium tanks and light tanks. So that's my progression with World of Tanks. So yeah, it's a no responsibility, stress relieving, tilt resetter of a class. So if you get super angry from carrying the team and failing yeah, play this vehicle class. It's super easy and just relieves the stress because you're inducing the same rage onto your opponents that you are feeling. So it is a stress reliever. It's like playing the suiciders in Call of Duty multiplayer. So it's basically like carrying a AT4 rocket launcher, running around with like Marathon Pro and using Danger Close Pro, something like that, with your knife. So it's very stress relieving. It's super tilt resetting, if you will. So it makes you feel a little bit better, reset your mood, have a few laugh, carry on. So I like this class. I think it's a great resetter for your tilt. It's an early class or early beginner class to start off with. So you can understand the game a lot better, understand the maps the vehicle classes, like heavy tanks, medium tanks, what do they look like, why you should face each and every one of them differently. So it's a good starter class, but I'm not saying this vehicle class does not need fixing because it does. So what's the main problem? Well, artillery is difficult to comprehend since a lot of players just play the game without thinking about artillery most of the time. So they just run towards a corner without thinking about artillery, starts engaging, and suddenly realize that your 1v1 situation is a whole lot different because artillery is supporting your enemies. So yeah, you get frustrated and says, where the hell is my artillery? Or artillery should be broken, or artillery is broken, and just remove it. Well, it's kind of your fault for not analyzing the battlefield and understanding that you do have artillery as well as your opponents. So if you already have a direct line to your base or their base, then you should have fire support from your artillery or the other way around. So if you're open to the enemy base where their artillery is, yeah, it's likely they're going to shoot at you. So all players do not know that, but they learn the hard way and complain about artillery. So that's a problem, but what's the easy way to fix this no retaliation from artillery? So a lot of players complain that, hey, if you fire a gigantic shell at me, there should be a way to retaliate for you to fire at me, right? Because 
when you're playing 1v1 situations against another player, you can bounce the shots, you can, you know, trade shots and angle your armor. So there's a dynamic 1v1 situation. When you're playing a heavy tank against artillery, everything goes, right? Because there's nothing on the battlefield. So artillery could shoot at you without retaliation. And that's very annoying for a lot of players, myself included. So there's no retaliation. You're questioning your own artillery's capability to counter battery fire. Nobody counter batteries because it's super hard since you cannot tell the difference between the shell trajectory and the ground sometimes, especially on desert maps or snow maps. So a whole lot of problems with this counter battery fire and retaliation. And that's why a lot of players are getting upset because if you shoot at me, you should have been shot as well. So it's not fair, right? So everything should be fair and should be balanced. So equal, but there isn't any of it. So originally the developers wanted the light tanks to counter battery or counter the artilleries much more effectively. But since the release of corridor maps, it's a whole lot difficult for light tanks to base rush and kill the opponent's artilleries. So blame it on the maps mostly. And you can blame it on the fact that the mechanics for artillery could be improved on. So here are my ways to improve artillery. So basically the simplest way is including some sort of direction indicator when artillery is firing at you. So like Armor Warfare, when you have artillery shells shooting at you, there is a 3 second warning beforehand telling you to move before the shell lands. So very great opportunity to tell you that you should get your ass out of there. So that way it feels a little bit more fair, right? Because you were given a warning, you didn't move. That's your problem mostly. So I did not feel the frustration in Armor Warfare as much as in World of Tanks when playing against artillery because the indicator mostly. And it would be better to have a minimap ping for your allies to understand where the artilleries are shooting at and for your own artillery to counter battery fire. So this way is the simplest fixing of the class. The simplest without changing the stats, without changing the vehicle entirely or removing the vehicle entirely. So let's try to have a directional indicator for artillery shells before we start changing with the stats like changing the alpha of a 210 millimeter gun to like the same as a non-penetrating hit or same damage as the penetrating hit from a T-54 with your non-penetrating high explosive shell. So you're dealing like only 300 damage. What the frick? Right? So the sandbox is not favorable in my understanding because you're nerfing artillery way too much. Artillery is one of the most hardest most hardest? English is awesome. It's one of the hardest class to progress with XP. The amount of XP needed for this class to reach tier 10 is 50% more than any other class. So for example, if you want to reach the T110E5 from the M103, it takes about 200,000 XP. But if you want to reach the T92 from what the hell is that vehicle called? <laughs> the M53 slash 55. It takes roughly 300,000 XP. So yeah, our Tories are getting shafted and treated worse because you require a lot more XP and credit, or not really credits, but a lot more XP to reach tier 10s. And the XP earned and credits earned from a artillery match is dramatically smaller or less than what you would earn if you play just as well in a heavy tank or medium tank or tank destroyer or any other class. So if you play artillery, I play artillery a lot, you should know this that yeah, artilleries do not make a lot of money or do not make a lot of XP so it takes longer for them to reach tier 10s and they are pretty shafted in this sense. Also. Artillery's, I mean, 
it's hard to pick this class up because a lot of players this on artillery, right? It comes with the territory. So artilleries are scumbags. Yeah, they are known for to be scumbags. They are treated poorly. And they're being team killed on the test server for freaking no reason whatsoever. So it's a mob mentality against artillery. And I think it's not that fair. So artillery players still require skills. All right, it's just an easy class to pick up on. It's I highly recommend this class though. It's tilt resetting. It makes you feel a little bit better when you're getting wrecked from playing medium tanks or playing heavy tanks against other tanks and you cannot carry as much because tomatoes. So it's a tilt resetting class and I highly recommend it but coming from mob mentality this class is getting treated uh, pretty poorly and not fair. So yep the easiest way to change artillery is adding the vehicle direction indicator from your shells. So warning your opponents of your shells before it hits roughly like three seconds or so. So reducing the damage, reducing the anger, and you can only blame yourself if you didn't move. So I think that's a fair start before you start nerfing the rest of the stats like alpha or accuracy, right? So, yeah, I don't know about the sandbox, but artillery is not as scumbaggy as you may think it is. So it does require, you know, teammates to support you. And as you can see from these matches, if you have t terrible teammates, then what could you do in artillery, right? So I did the best I could. I did the most damage out of these two matches and I only won one of them because in the other one, my teammates just YOLO rushed and I'm just standing here looking at this belief of what you're doing. So artillery is a very difficult class to make a lot of XP, make a lot of credits and gets treated pretty badly and unfair. So it is a scumbaggy class, no doubt. I mean, based on the current system, it gets pretty annoying because no retaliation from your fire like this. AT-15. So I shot him, he did not see it, so he gets pissed off. But what if you have a directional indicator with a minimap ping for your opponents? That way it feels a little bit fair because they would know where you're shooting at and you should move, right? But you still need this class. So in the end, you still need artillery. You really do. Because heavy tanks are pretty OP. If I'm playing heavy tanks without artillery, I will wreck everybody almost all the time. Just because you can, I would never expose my lower plate. I would never expose my weak spots for a long time. And you would need to use high explosive to get me out of a encamped position or entrenched position. So you do need artillery to dig people out. So that's the main reason for artillery, in my belief. But you could say that Sam, you don't know shit. <laughs> Sam, you don't know artillery? Well, I'm a Unicom, so my stats says differently. The most played vehicle in my account is GW Panther, and the third most is GW Tiger P. So I do know artillery quite a lot. And I kept my win eight. I kept my rating up or just the same with playing artillery. So artillery does not reduce my win eight. So basically I'm saying I'm just as efficient playing artillery as playing heavy tanks. So trust me on it, all right? I'm correct like 90% of the time. So artilleries are treated poorly, but they do need a fix. The simplest fix is the directional indicator. So try that out, see how that goes. If it does need a few more nerf, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could nerf them a little bit more. Just not that fair, right? Nerf the medium tanks first, guys. Nerf the mediums. But yeah, that's my two cents about artillery. So they are a weak class, but they are easy for beginners to pick up on. So learn the maps, learn the different types of vehicles, understand the game, and then move on to tank destroyers, then heavy tanks and whatever. So, there you go, folks. Artilleries are not that bad. They're okay. Just add more cover to the map. 
make the math less, you know, campy-ish. Mm, add the directional indicator, that also works, but improve your gameplay first before you join a mob mentality. So everybody complains all the time. Learn why you're complaining before you make the complaint. So don't become a mob and don't become the British for exiting EU for no reason. So we'll talk about that later, but yep. A lot of players, all right, so here is the EU debacle. So a lot of players, well not players, a lot of people are saying that or regretting from exiting EU in Britain because they did not understand what the EU stood for and when they wanted to exit the EU and they're forgetting that these foreigners actually have money and if you want them out of your country you're removing the money as well so that's why the British pound is dropping in value very quickly so the main analogy between the Brexit the British exit from EU and normal players complaining about artillery is Complain only when you know that what you're complaining about. So don't become an angry mob and just go rabble, rabble, rabble. Understand the situation first and then make a definitive judgment based on your evidence and your perception. So don't become an angry mob. But that's my two cents. So there you go, folks. My artillery perspectives and understanding of it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.